Now with Christmas comes food, pudding and plenty of delicacies. If you're looking for a unique way to spice up your Christmas dishes, we might have the answer for you tonight. I'm joined now by Chef Natalie Sass of Sass Foodie. Uh, she's coming to us from Johannesburg to share some of those delicious recipes. Thank you so much for your time, Chef Natalie. Just firstly, take us through what we typically find South Africans making um, over Christmas. Christmas? Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, typically, you'll get people getting your fried chicken, your turkeys, like your normal Christmas food that they always do. Now, if one really wants to spice up uh, their Christmas menu for either Christmas lunch or Christmas dinner, what would you suggest? First of all, now there's internet, there's YouTube channels, there's books where you can follow uh, menus. I mean, your simple lamp, um, roasted lamp, your uh, roasted pork. You can like be versatile, your vegetarian meals, salads. Just do research of what would you like to do, then doing the plain old uh, Christmas meals. Okay, Chef, you know, like some of us, myself in particular, we are trying to lose weight, you know, and um, over Christmas you do find that a lot of the food is quite rich. So what would you suggest for somebody who's still trying to, uh, you know, keep their weight in check, still trying to keep their, their, their waistline um, in check? Uh, what would you suggest that they make uh, for Christmas lunch or Christmas dinner tomorrow? Um, well, if you're on a diet and you're trying to lose weight, I'd suggest uh, a lot of roasting, roast, because it decreases with the oil and stuff, and salads, that's the way to go. And um, don't use a lot of oil, hence the um, deep fried chicken, don't do that. Do the roasted and salads, that's what I suggest you do. Interesting. Now... Uh, for someone, uh, you know, who is also wanting to maybe add some interesting desserts as well, what would your suggestions be uh, for the uh, Christmas menu for, for, for their dishes? So a lot of people do trifles every year. So I'd suggest go, as I said before, we've got now we've upgraded um, through IT. Go to your YouTube channels. We as chefs, we upload all the time new recipes where you can find easy recipes. There's chocolate cakes where you can do. There's baked cheesecakes. There's even non-baked cheesecakes. So you can go viral and do whatever you want. And easy recipes. Now tell me, Chef Natalie, how important is preparation? So how soon should people be maybe marinating their meats um, or cutting up their vegetables? Um, in terms of prep, it's very important because it decreases time of your cooking. So immediately, maybe if you're having prep, like today you've prepped your veggies, you marinate it, then you know that you at ease tomorrow, you're just going to start cooking. So your onions, your veggies, your salads day before is the best to do. So you know that tomorrow you're at ease and you don't rush all the time in the kitchen, getting on time, you want to be on time. So prepping is the best to go. Lovely. Thank you so much for your time, Chef Natalie. Unfortunately, that's where we have to leave it for tonight. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family. That was Chef Natalie Sass from Sassy Food. Now,